First, there is waking up, realization of a new day, beauty or tragedy, not knowing. The sun is not shining yet. There is a bird on the ledge. First, there is coffee and more coffee with a chocolate chip scone. There is fog on the road this morning. More construction, always more construction. First, there is hearing sounds, indistinguishable sounds, then a brightness, then the outline of a face or shoulder or hip. It's raining on the road today. Windshield wipers are so inadequate. All is good if everyone keeps in their lane. Just keep in your lane until the rain subsides. First, there is a smile with sleepy eyes above hair shielding cheeks from sun. Then the sensation of touch, fingertips soft on warm skin. Then there is holding tight, tight enough to remain through the day. Then there are cries of realization, weaning anxiety, letting go is part of love. First there is coffee with a blueberry scone and stoplights, stop signs, brake lights, heavy traffic, rushing, rushing, always rushing. The rain has stopped. There's a mist on the highway this morning. Toll booths, correct change and exit ramps. First there is the scent of hair, followed by the scent of skin. There are legs entwined, palm flat on the small of a back. There is pulling closer and pulling closer still, readjusting bodies while readjusting lives. First, there is waking up. Lake. Yeah, hold it, because I'll just keep going. Lake. Your icy fingers crash in my spirit, pulling me in deeper than I know how to go. I kiss your soft belly as I am forever washed away in you. I leave my impression in your soft sand and you hold it there, playfully tickling the edges, then erasing all in one fell swoop, one mad rush in. I give you flat stone offerings. They skip across your skin, joyful as a child returning home, and you take them in, gizzard stones in your belly. Lake, you hold my dreams in your long curls, rolling the shared visions within you. You are broader than I can see and deeper than I want to go. Still, you pull me to your depths, holding me there until I am cold in you. You explode before me, exposing your jagged edges, thrusting your icy fingers through me, turning me around in you and spewing me on your shores, then laying me down beneath your soft waters, smoothing my soul. Lake, beat me with your waters, whip me with your tides, subtle and slow, chasing the moon's pull, wanting to be an ocean, reflecting every image before you, hot pink soft fire, early morning sunrise, or shimmering diamonds on black velvet abyss of 2 a.m. darkness. I come into you, and you accept me without question, lifting me on your waves of joy. We ride each other through the storms. Lake, you do not tell of your secret shipwrecks. So many crying on your shores have caused you to rise. You hold my tears in your body. You are full from so much weeping. You do not easily give up your dead. I am here for you now, Lake. Take me to your belly. Grind me with your stones. Never let me go. It has come to this, a change of seasons. It has wondering where the next. It has come to footfalls in unknown directions, this time when one must decide to decide. It has come to this day-to-day -day creeping petty pace of tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Come to this getting off the boat, going all the way, ready to face all the tigers in the jungle, to face the night's bitter cold, the day's vanquishing sun, ready to walk, face exposed to the rain, accept moisture as a gift. It has come to this place where this voice within receives attention. It speaks now to come to where you've been, where you're going. It has come to this, a change of seasons. The perfect poem. 
What is the perfect poem? What does it take to give one the feeling, the emotion? Is it formed of love, love lost or gained, beating hearts or bleeding hearts? What forms the perfect poem? Anger of political disposition, ranting and raving against the system, against the world and the state of your social status, spreading the hate you bemoan? How does one craft the perfect poem? Through clever witticisms, tongue-dripping imagery, humorous jibs and jeers, setting oneself up on a plateau while pushing others deep in the valley below, or begging for the sympathetic savior to your self-deprivation. Does the perfect poem make us cry? Make us laugh? Does it bring us to a place of empathy, a collective spiritual rendezvous in the ether of our hidden universe, and hold us there until we are all one. No. The perfect poem is born out of each of us when we conceive the idea, the thought, the emotion, and wrap words around that birth, then spew it out on paper or through voice in any language. Yes, the perfect poem lives within each of us. It is perfect in the nature of its being alone, and we are blessed by the experience of one sharing their perfection with us. So let us bow our heads, close our eyes, and embrace all who share their perfect poem. What is it with love? What is it with love? The touch, fingers on skin, lips gently join, the flame of emotional surrender, the waking and naked happiness. What is it with love? The ability to endure bad breath, personality conflicts, folding daily drivel into mutual admiration? What is it with love that drives us, that pilots the course across rough seas, knowing in our soul the storm will subside and bring us to a calm shore, this thing, this emotion, this beast that dines on our force of life, controlling our future, setting our past in sandy foundations, yet we long for its touch, its promise of euphoria, Giving way to reason, we surrender to the moment, to the belief in a comfort of an embracing womb. It pulls us in, and we accept. Let it flow through you. Cast aside the fear. Cherish the moment. <laughs> Movement of life. This life moves in ways we are unable to control, taking us through heaven and hell. You are there on the sofa, and I can't touch you. You laugh at a movie, but I see you crying inside. There was love, there was life. We created life, beautiful. We embodied love, and now it is spent. Now you struggle just to be my friend. This life, wrapped in past experience, past emotion, takes and takes every breath until the last. We are unable to control the outcome of our desires, of our longing. It is pointless and trivial, yet we breathe, we reach for tomorrow in hope that it will be stronger than today, that it will show us purpose, meaning, value. And each flight of the sun, flight of the moon, brings us more confirmation of our fragility. <laughs>